Sherry Foster Blake, I see you you're doing Chief Joseph Washington's speech. Yes. You want to talk about that what well, that is and why that's important to you? Well, it, it it's so important because he talks about um how um it, it it's what it's one of the the most eloquent speeches I think that's it's ever been ever been written or said. And he talks about um how essentially he was he was told one thing and other things uh happened you know i could read i can read some of it for you so you'll get a sense of it um it just in in the first couple of lines of his speech he says at last i was granted permission to come to washington and bring my friend yellow bull and our interpreter with me i'm glad i came i have shaken hands with many good friends but there are some things i want to know which no one seems able to explain i cannot understand how the government sends a man out to fight us as it did general miles and then breaks his word such a government has something wrong about it i cannot understand why so many chiefs are allowed to talk so many different ways and promises so many different things so this is just the beginning and this is kind of what we see now <laughs> what's going on um as we're bringing it forward as we're bringing this story forward in 2017 how the government says one thing and does the, it does another but it goes on to say i've seen the great father chief and so many other law chiefs that they all say they are my friends and that i shall have justice but while all their mouths talk right i do not understand why nothing is done for my people i have heard talk and talk but nothing is done so that's just the beginning of chief joseph's speech to um to the to the government and to uh the people in washington when he arrives and it goes on to talk about how you know there's been an injustice and and why can't we just be people we're all under the same spirit we all have the same god and or god or we call him the great the, the great spirit and how can we all can't just get along together and we're all as one what's good for one man should be good for the other man what's good for the white man should be good for the brown man or the black man